As the NBA and his players continue to mourn the death of Kobe Bryant, the tributes continued here at the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans. Both teams surrendered 24 second violations in honor of number 24. And following the Celtics' 123 to 108 loss, Celtics players had the opportunity to share what Kobe Bryant's legacy means to them. It's tough, man. but you know, we, we weren't the only team out there. There's two teams out there and had to go out there and compete and you know, play a game that we love. And, you know, for me, I kind of look at it as I'm pretty sure Kobe would want us to play. I'm in a loss for words, to be honest, but uh, part of like, why you know, I picked up to play basketball was because of, because of him. He inspired so much and was so tough that I never got to shake his hand. You know, that's what kills me the most. Uh, I was looking forward to that day. Uh, I never got to meet Kobe Bryant, never got to play against him. Uh, but extremely inspired and, and honored, you know, to just be able to, to play and be able to, you know, celebrate his name. Uh, it's tough. He broke the hearts of the Celtics many times, and um, but there's probably no greater appreciation for him than, you know, all of us that work for the Celtics and certainly our fans and um, and all of our players, you know, totally looked up to him and totally admired him. It was different today. Like I said, I think being a father too, I mean, my heart is just broken for his wife and his other daughters. And so um, I think everybody that's a father understands that or a mother, you know, so it's, it was difficult. Um, I don't think my daughters probably know what happened, um, but certainly, I mean, it's something where that's why every time you leave, you want to say goodbye and, you know, it's tough. It's really tough. So. The Celtics will look to finish their three-game road trip on a high note when they head to Miami to take on the Heat Tuesday night. Jason Tatum is considered day-to-day, -day, so he could be back in action before the Celtics head back home to take on the Warriors at TD Garden. That's going to do it for me here in New Orleans. I am Joseph Pavone reporting for CLNS Media.